some security system. So these are all the options. Add key, all those keys, delete, replace a um, the unit, replace ECPM. Okay, so we're going to replace ECPM. And yes, you can reprogram back the regular key that you had for the car. You can reprogram it right back. Keys are reprogrammable, but you can reprogram them back to the vehicle. All right, I'm gonna let this finish loading, then I'll catch back for you guys. Okay, now this is the process here. Now it says turn off the ignition. Okay. And turn on the ignition using the same key. This is the process when installing a new ECU. So right now it's going to sync the ECM, the PCM, with the immobilizer unit in the ignition. So it recognizes it. So it starts the vehicle. Give me a minute, let this finish loading. But that loading process has completed. It was a little while, it took like, I think like four or five minutes for the loading process to finish. So it says the ECPM has been registered, turn the ignition off. So now as you guys can see, the key light that was blinking on the dashboard is no longer blinking. So the tool has registered the new ECPM with the immobilizer. So now it's good to go. So now the vehicle should be able to start. So now it's telling me to turn the ignition off. So I'm turning the ignition off and then I'm gonna hit okay. Check all keyless access remotes to make sure it starts the engine. So I just pressed OK. It says please turn the ignition on. So I turn the ignition on like so. Dashboard is on. Press OK. Is this a smart key vehicle? No. The registration is completed. That's it. And the vehicle's good to go. So I'll turn it off, take the key out. See the key light's blinking. Put the key back in ignition. The light should go out, and it just did. So I'm gonna start the vehicle up. It's good to go.